Hey everybody! Well today I thought we could take a look at another one of these really nice all metal model kits from Teching. So you've seen me build a couple of these kits before on this channel. I built a couple of robots and I also built a uh, dragonfly with flapping wings. So this is kind of similar to that. It has uh, an eagle at the top and the eagle's wings are going to flap. But you can see it's an all metal construction. It comes with all the hardware you need. I got this from a website called Sterling Kit. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below. But it has 240 pieces. Also there's two different versions of this kit you can buy. You can get the silver and gold version right here or you can get the all silver version. So you can choose which one you want. So I got the gold and silver version. So let's take a look at the parts. Alright, so let's open this up. I haven't looked in here yet. Okay, so let's see. Let me get this out of the way. Alright, so here's the instructions. Um, just going to thumb it through it real quick. But you can see how these these kits go together really nice. It's all It's got all the hardware. Uh, this should be an interesting build, actually. It's got all the hardware. It even comes with the tools and everything. It's kind of nice. This looks like it's color-coded, so they've updated the instructions. And there's the uh, parts key. All right, so let's look at this. Ooh, nice. Oh, my gosh. Okay, these kits are always so amazing whenever I get these. Uh, first of all, uh, the whole way that they're packaged is awesome. You can see that there's the numbered uh, parts in here. These are all metal, very high quality. Let's see, what are these wings made of? I've been curious about that. Oh, these are, hmm, these are nice. They're like printed, uh, I don't know if these are cardboard or what. It's almost like a thick cardstock. Maybe it's plastic, I'm not sure. That's kind of cool. Actually, it sounds like metal, doesn't it? These are metal. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were going to be kind of, a thin, let's, uh, plastic kind of thing. Okay, I don't want to mess up these parts because I don't want to get them out of order. Look at these. Is this metal too? I think these are plastic. Oh, these are nice. Look how they got a curve to them. Wow, so it's a multi-layer wing system here. Very, very cool. Alright, put these in here carefully. Yeah, so I don't want to take these, I don't want to get them screwed up. So, uh, let's see, we got all that. Let me see, there's another layer down here. Let's see what's under the underside of this. Oh, wow. Okay, so even more stuff here. Wow, there's a, more wing pieces. That might be... Gosh, there's a lot of wing pieces to this. You can see how much is in here. Wing pieces, this is the base. Uh, I think this is a rechargeable battery like the uh, Dragonfly. There's the motor, some electrical plug and play thank goodness there's the uh, allen wrenches that you're going to need to build all this Ooh, there's a little piece of there's a little pair of tweezers in there too see the little screwdriver i love it they give you everything you need there's some kind of a bracket right there this is always really cool too these these are the uh, screws and they're all labeled so you know which one you are going to use you can see how it looks in here look at all that there's a lot of hardware they usually give you some extras it looks like there's some uh uh, ball bearings there. Wow, there's a lot. And they're all labeled and there's a piece of sponge in there that keeps them all in place. So yes, oh, once again, top quality stuff here. Uh, I think that's it. I don't think there's another layer underneath here. No, that's, that's it. Okay, well, I'm going to get started on this because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so just an update here. These wing mechanisms are pretty cool, the way they are hinged. See how that works? It's kind of neat. So you build two of these, of course, in opposite uh, directions, but you can see it's all uh, hinged like that. I did have a hard time getting the eagle's head on here, um, pushing it down in on these little studs right here. I, I don't know why I had a hard time getting it on there, but I did. But it's this is metal. This is a metal eagle head. Look how good that looks. Look at the eye. I mean, that is a really nice paint job on there. I didn't realize that the eye look so good or eyes but uh, yeah it's kind of neat how the whole middle section is you can see his little foot right there all right so far so good okay so this is what we got so far uh, these wings are pretty fiddly to put together but the part that you can look at all this stuff going on there the part that I had the hardest time though is um, let me set that down for a minute there's a spring 
right there that goes on the inside and it goes between right there. You have to kind of squeeze it in between this um, this orange kind of strip right here. It's like a bevel and then it has to go like that. Well in the process of trying to get that spring in there it flew out of there and it was lost in the abyss. I, I don't know where it went. Thank goodness they give you a spare uh, spring. So uh, thank goodness because I was searching on the floor for about 20 minutes trying to find it. You can see the spring in there. See it? You can just see it down inside there. So that's what is going to make the wings flap up and down and it also makes the tail, I think the tail is going to uh, move up and down as well which is really cool. So anyway uh, hopefully it, it's, it'll move smoothly once I get it all put together. Alright so there is a lot of gear action going on here and all these little spindles and everything. So when you're putting these axles in right here you got to be really careful to make sure you get the exact ones that go with the right gear because they're all slightly different so make sure you check it. Um, check the back of the book where they have the parts uh, numbers that'll help you also. Um, there's a gear right here you can see too like a gear shaft and I thought I was missing one of these uh, bearings it was underneath this little one here but I thought I was missing one of these so that was scary I thought oh great now I'm you know missing a part and um, fortunately I uh, found it so these little bearings all go on here there's a lot of little intricate things that go on to this thing that you really wouldn't expect. So these four go here and then let's see that this is a narrow one right uh, where is it right there and there, one more thick one there's like oh sorry three three thick ones this one goes on this one and then that narrow one goes on this last one right here but you can see all the crazy stuff that goes on here I mean there's a lot of parts on this thing okay so I've got the bottom part uh, pretty much done everything's all screwed together um, all the uh, gears and everything here now what I don't understand is as soon as I hook up the battery there's this red light on the circuit and it stays lit even when it's off it's not on right now so there's the power button when I turn this on you can see the gears moving and it's red it's still lit red and then when I turn it off the gears are, are off but this stays lit why would they have a light on there that stays lit that doesn't make any sense so now it's going to use up power the whole time that it's off just to keep that red light on I did plug it in uh, to charge it to see what that would do and the light was red and then when I unplugged the charger uh, it went to blue the light turned blue and then when I turned it on everything was working and then the light turned red and then it stayed on again after I turned it off so I have no idea <laughs> what is going on here or why they would have that light on there so uh, I guess you're just gonna have to leave it the way it is and that whole thing is just gonna burn up the battery uh, power you know over time when you have it off I mean it probably doesn't use that much power anyway but still uh, it's kind of dumb that they would have a red light in there and you're not even going to see it anyway once you put the cover on. Oh well, I don't understand what's going on with that. Alright, so <laughs> leave it to me to screw something up. <laughs> Alright, so uh, while I was building these wings, I didn't notice in the instructions, this piece right here has to go under this piece. So see how it's got a curve to it? Let me see if I can focus in on it. Um, see how it's got this little curve on the front of it right here? Let me see if I can find the other piece over here to show you what I'm talking about. Here it is. So see how the, it's got a curved edge to it. So that curved edge has to go underneath uh, this piece here. And so I didn't have it done that way. And you know, you can see it in the instructions, but it's not, uh, well, I guess it's kind of clear. I just wasn't paying attention. But in the process of doing that, look at how this got all mangled. See these metal struts right here? Those got totally screwed up. See how they're all uh, all messed up so when I turn this on those got all crinkled up and I had to try to reshape it back in this one here is actually not bad that one works still pretty good but this one here really got mangled up and that's where it connects to the wings I will say that this is kind of a clunky uh, system that they got but here I'll show I'll turn it on and I'll show you what I mean so when you turn it on um, let me see well maybe if I turn it on 
Okay, there we go. Now see how it's kind of, see how this whole thing works? It's a little wonky. See, and it gets stuck too now. So I'm going to see if I can try to uh, fix this. But there's so much tension on this wing setup right here. Um, I can focus in on here. There we go. There's a lot of tension going on in here that is kind of like, uh, I don't know, you wouldn't think that they would have it done that way. So here we go, it's turning on again. But you can see how kind of wonky this whole thing is. And it keeps getting stuck, I gotta figure out what's causing that. Let me see if I turn it off. But yeah, I mean, this has just been a real problem right here, so. Um, and I noticed even on the video for uh, Sterling Kit, or actually it was, uh, there we go. It was teching, there's a video on YouTube that's a very brief one that shows this thing working. And it's even a little bit you know, clunky near the end of the video, but you can see it really has a hard time pushing those wings up because of the way this is done. And each wing doesn't flap completely even, and that's because the gears don't match up exactly where the screws are right there. See how they're not going to be completely together right there? So, yeah, and you can see where those things are supposed to go through there. Now, on these little posts right here, uh, right, let me see if I can point it. Right there, there's supposed to be these little nuts that go on there. But because it's got all bent up now, um, I'm not going to put those nuts on. That way, the that uh, section here can still flow through these holes. But, oh gosh, I don't know. I'll see if I can try to get this thing working, but I don't know. Seems like I can never quite get these things to work just right. Okay, well, unfortunately, I think this is going to end up just being a bust. Um, I just can't get the darn thing to work. So this thing here is the main problem, this one strut right here. Now, I actually, uh, because that was so mangled, I actually made a one out of styrene. And so uh, I went ahead and did that, but I didn't want to put that little rut in the middle because that would have really made this weak. So that little strut that's right in here that you can see right here, I, I took that one out. Sorry for the blurriness. Okay, so I took it out on this side so that I didn't have to have that little rut uh, like you see in that metal one right there. And, um, and that way, you know, it, the, uh, it can just rely on the plastic strength on its own. But then after a while, this thing started getting bent in the middle. And it's just for whatever reason, it has a really hard time pushing this wing up. And then this wing piece right here was cutting into this one, and I actually had to kind of like finish trimming it off. You can see I got a piece of scotch tape just to kind of hold it in place temporarily. Um, but, you know, I don't know. This whole thing is weird. So, okay, so let me turn it back on. Now, see how the, this wing here works pretty good. I mean, you can see how it just kind of goes up like it's supposed to. But this one here, it just seems like it really struggles to get that, that upper that wing up. I mean, it's working at least a little bit. And I put some hot glue in there, by the way, because I uh, was trying to strengthen that up a little. But see, then it just kind of stops all of a sudden. So let me turn it off and then turn it back on. And now it just, oh, there we go. And it doesn't seem like the battery's strong enough to really push this up like it should. And I have to kind of give it an assist here to make sure that it's, you know, I mean, you can see this one works pretty good. So I'm sure it's something I did wrong. Um, I think also, you know, this wing, for whatever reason, is just, it wasn't bent as sharp as it should have been. It kept getting caught on this wing, and that's what was jamming it up also, and then that's why it started cutting into that uh, wing right there, so it just kind of stops again. Yeah, ah, it's too bad. So, oh well, you know, I guess you can't win them all. <laughs> I, uh... I tried, you know, when I was buying this thing, I kind of had my doubts about about it because, I mean, there is just so much, when you have all these weird moving parts in here, it's always a little bit chancy that you're going to have something work good anyway. Um, but I don't know. I think maybe the design might have been a little bit better thought out, but I don't know. It was $100 for this thing. Uh, it's normally more, but I got a, a uh, I think it's 140 I got a $40 discount on it um, before Christmas. Because I had it on pre-order for about two months. But, oh well, if you're thinking about getting this thing, um, you know, I mean, maybe you'll have better luck with it than I did. It's a really nice kit. I mean, these um, 
these teching kits are usually pretty cool. You know, they're all metal, and you know, I think these wings are even metal. It's like a really thin, uh, like, uh, tin or something. And also, the, uh, the paint on this was kind of sticky, and that was another thing, that this was getting stuck to this. It's almost like the paint hadn't dried all the way. And also, it had a very, um, like, a really noxious smell to it. <laughs> It's finally aired out a little bit, but if you get one of these, you'll notice that the smell of these wings is really kind of potent. But, oh well, anyway, I guess it was worth a try. If you want to get one of these, head on over to the Sterling Kit website. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description, and you can decide for yourself if you want to get one of these. But it's neat, but unfortunately, I kind of think that it was a flop, at least for me. All right, well, that's it for this uh, review, I guess, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you on the next video. So thank you very much, and have a good one.